Looking good. Let me see if I if I if I'm still here. <laughs> Let, Yay. Let, <laughs> yes, I don't know what you guys have seen, but I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> Almost. Oh, since we've never done it before. Can you hear me? I can okay. hear you if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. That's the best. That's that's all I need to know. And I prepared <laughs> my face which is which has nothing on it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, me too. I I pretty much almost took everything off except just my like I did just really quick brows. I'll show you how I do brows. It's super easy. But I feel the lashes and brows is so personal for people. Like mm -hmm. everybody have their own type of tweaks and things. So mm -hmm. we're not going to be putting too much emphasis on lashes and brows. But the most important part is for stage makeup is definitely the face. You yes. Know? And, and especially if you in the hot crowd, right? Like, or it's a hundred degree weather with you home and you don't have air conditioning, right? So what do you do? So we did a little rehearsal yesterday with Jana and everybody knows milk or magnesium. Did you get that one? I got it. Yes. yes. Is it the original? Oh, with cherry. Oh, <gasps> is it? Is it? Is it? So it's not. It's not. It, it has to be. It has to be original with no flavor. Okay, then we're not using. We're it. just not gonna use it today because thank goodness today is not a hundred degree weather. No, which is good. Um, okay. But for all the awesome people out there, make sure it's the original milk of magnesium because this is fantastic product. If you have acne, if you sensitive, if you any any for any skin tone, um, because this is actually a clean beauty product. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. As silly yeah. as it sounds, but it's actually amazing. So we're just gonna pretend that we're just gonna put a couple drops on the back of the hand mm -hmm. and we're just gently gonna press it on all the areas that you get really oily. Especially the nose, T zone, like you know, it depends on what, even if you have the most dry skin, but the nose gets oily. Mm -hmm. It just does. So you just gently would press the product. Make sure you don't swipe the product, right? Because our cameras are so HD, which is awesome, <laughs> right? But we can't just be like that. Mm -hmm. And when you do stage makeup, you actually want to start with eyes. Yes. Because things just fall naturally, right? Especially if you're doing more dramatic stuff, right? So, um, eye primer, did you happen to find yes. one? Yes, I got it. Okay. And uh, Sonia, one, uh, one question. Yes. Should we, so we don't start with a foundation. I usually no. start with foundation. No. Okay, we're we'll gonna start, start with, with eyes. If you do a uh, stage makeup, mm -hmm. we all we start with eyes because things fall. Okay, the eyeshadows fall. So this is where, especially if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out with makeup, that's a, always a good way to to do it. Okay. So, and by the way, the Wet and Wild is also clean. Um, like they don't test you no. Know, I'm like telling my family. <laughs> so it's a it's a very good brand and it's super cheap. You know what I mean? So they use good ingredients. And we're just gonna put very gently just tiny bit on on the eyelid. I don't have the applicator, so it doesn't I... matter. You just put it like if you don't have an applicator, you just put it on the back of your hand like uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. And what I like to do, I like to warm up the product like this okay. and gently pat it. Okay. We'll see. Just, if one thing you guys remember, make sure you don't sweat, like you don't tag the skin. You don't try to, you know, pull it. Everything is just those nice tapping motions because you're also doing a massage for your skin. You, you're working on lymphatic drainage. So... A lot of times when I work with people, they're like, oh, my God, we, we feel so awake. And this is why 
actually it came from skincare because this is what I've been doing when I was doing skincare. I never pulled the skin. I almost kind of like just brought the skin up and plumped the skin. So this mm -hmm. is the best way how you actually so you, work with the skin. So you apply it right underneath your brows too? Yeah, everywhere. Oh, Absolutely. Goodness. I've never done that. I'm yeah, not. stage makeup is completely different makeup in itself because you usually do it on me. <laughs> I know, usually exactly. It's like this is this is so different. This is like we <laughs> put in such a different <laughs> situation. I, I don't think that's gonna ever been done before, right? But no. this is this is like a really um, and this is a good way to learn for yourself too, right? Like you know, the situation is hard. But it's forcing us to become even more advanced in life. <laughs> yeah, well, I love learning. So let's see. The concert is coming up tonight. So hopefully I will uh, do a good job. You, Yesterday I was not very satisfied with what I did. But we'll see. You'll, I'm positive you'll do good. So now you remember, we're going to actually take uh, the powder. Remember the powder that we um, took? I like but we don't we don't need the primer anymore. You already applied it, right? Yes. Good. A little so, bit, just a little yes, bit. Yes, exactly. Just a little bit, exactly. So now what you're gonna take, you're gonna take like any fluffy brush, it doesn't matter whatever brush. Is this too thick? Like is it too big? A little too big, yeah. You want oh. you want like a this like, one? Yes. Yes. Can you see me well? So yeah. Uh, okay. Can you see me good? Yes, I can see. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And that will <laughs> and then and that will go from there. Okay. So powder. Yep. So and now we're just gonna take the brush and make you have the towel. Yes. Okay. Yes. I have white. You have yeah. yeah. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So and we're gonna take the brush and we're just gonna get some powder. Because what we want to do, we want to make sure we have no tagging on the skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we and we just we're just gonna nicely just brush everywhere that we applied our primer. Like that. On both eyes. And I never did the tapping <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually um, one move that a lot of people really get surprised that they always so used to tagging on their skin, but actually mm -hmm. this is what brings your blood flow, lymphatic drainage. It's so good for your skin, and your body just loves it because even this, before I did the skincare, I did massage. So that's where another kind of like the massage uh -huh. emotions. Our uh -huh. body loves it. Uh -huh. So okay. like that, good. So now we're gonna take that palette from yesterday. You mean the the, the, the shadow, right? Yes. This one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So you remember the lightest brown that we did? Lightest? Yeah. Okay. This and is the palette they don't I'll try to tag this palette if they have it, but it's not about this. They do have those matte colors separate, so I'm gonna tag those. We're gonna take that light brown. It, with the same brush? Yes. Yes. And we're just going to apply it everywhere. Up to the brows? Yeah, but see, like, this area, keep it open. Uh-huh. See, kind of like, like a winch in motion. You know how, like, a car? Mm-hmm. Like a car. Wow. Theoretically, we know everything. Let's see <laughs> what's going <laughs> That's what? <laughs> uh, Okay. Look at like see Jean, Jean, look, you gonna you gonna place your brush right here, mm -hmm. right here, like where you end, here. Put the brush, uh huh, and then you just go like you know how you have a circle around your eyes. You're gonna go the whole circle. 
Yes. So I have a question. Does yeah. it have to have a little bit of the pigmentation? Because tiny bit. This, yeah, tiny. but but see, this one uh, is the same color as the powder. Oh yeah, no, I, we need we need a little bit dark. Let's see the darker. The, the, the yeah. next one, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Not the lighter because we already have the powder. Because I, I I don't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. See, we need to have tiny bit of shadow. Tiny bit. And we're just gonna go like a winching motion, like yes. But not closer to lashes. No, like see, you you need to have a little space here. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Like see how it's like a very light transition. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Could and now you're gonna you're actually gonna put the brush right here in the end of your eye, like this. Uh -huh. And you pull it up, kind of like a soft cat eye, like this. Mm -hmm. Put it here and then go up. And what's really cool about this particular shade, since it's so light, it's okay to do it. Yeah. You know I... what I mean? So it actually pulls your eye more up to the temple. So you're creating like a fake light cat eye. Mm, okay. Which is really cool. Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you like see, you see just, I you just totally circle it around, circle it around, circle it around, and then and then pull it up, up. See what I mean? So it's it's basically you like creating like this, like the wave around your eyes, wave up. Mhm. Mm Got it. Mhm. Mm and the same thing we're gonna repeat on the other eyes. Thank you so much, everyone who came. We are yes. super excited to see you guys. <laughs> and I'm, well, I'm still a guinea pig, and I'm okay with that. That's what I do in my shows when people, I love it, when people are doing something for the first time. Well, that's why I chose those lighter colors, because with dark colors, it's so easy to mess up. Of so course. you always want to be with practicing with lighter colors, you know, because with dark colors, once you put it, it's hard to. <laughs> okay. okay. Yep. Good. The same thing. Very good. Now we're going to take a color, just, just tiny bit of like darker, tiny bit darker. Mm -hmm. so, so like, on, in... so on my, uh, so I was using this one. Mm -hmm. So now it's it darker. Or this one. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that one. Mm -hmm. This one. Yep. Yep. Good. Very good. Same. Uh, same brush. Same brush. Yep. Same brush. But remember, now we're actually not gonna go all the way. We're actually gonna go only in the middle. Okay. So and we're just gonna do just V, like a really tiny V, like this. So we're going to take the darker color, a tiny bit, not too much. And we're just going to go like this. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And you can just like kind of like almost like even pack it like this. Because we want to open the eyes. And when you... When you work with neutrals, brown neutrals, it makes your eyes look incredible, especially on stage. Okay. And on the other eye? Yep, and same thing on the other eye. So you basically need to create this little tiny V, like a really tiny V. Because the color itself is a little bit darker. It's not as light. So it gives you like this illusion of openness. Especially, um, I have uh, hooded eyes. So it really helps me to open my eyes. And what if my eyes are big already? It doesn't matter. It doesn't okay. matter. It actually brings attention to the right places on your eyes. It's, okay. it's like a, think about it, think about it as, a, as a contour for your eyes. Uh -huh. Instead of the face, it's actually for the eyes. It's the same idea. So we already did it, right? Yep. 
sometimes if I'm in a rush and I don't do the V, I literally I just take that, you know, shade and I'm like, kind of like, you know, staple it so that I know my eyes. Do you see how it's like already kind of created that contour? Mm -hmm. And yeah. since your brush is a little bit more smaller, like this, like you have a smaller, we're going to oh. take the same color that we use right now, a little darker brown, and we're just going to go right under, but only in the middle, only to like right here. With the same color? With the same color, yes. But don't. Okay, because the brush that I have, it's mm -hmm. pretty thick. It's gonna it's go. It's fine. It's fine. fine. And actually, um, this is this is where a lot of girls are afraid to put too much under, but it's actually good for you to apply. It's it's a contour. It's like for a contour for your eyes. See, only till the middle, because don't forget we're gonna use this later. Oh, okay. So don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not worried. I know I'm in good hands. I totally <laughs> trust you. Oh. Yeah. I... And only to the middle. Only to the middle. Just tiny bit. Just tiny bit. Just a little. It makes your eyes, no matter what color they are, just boom. Mm -hmm. Very good. Back and forth, back and forth, short, short strokes. Very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take a smaller brush. Remember the smaller brush we did? Like this? Which one? A, a flat one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I have to find it. <laughs> is, so this one, is, is that this one? Yeah, no? yeah. Perfect. Yeah? Perfect. Okay. Yeah. What are we doing? With that? So now, remember, we're going to take like a dark color, like on the blacker side. Mm -hmm. So, so far, and like my really good friend, Vienna Malachka Photography, she, she pretty much does all my photos. She's like my official photographer. She loves, like photography loves all the mats. So uh -huh. this is very important for photographers to pretty much have almost no shine. Mm-hmm. And so, about the yeah now we're gonna that. press it press on the color mm -hmm. and then absolutely we want to tap it because we don't want any shadows mm -hmm. and what we're gonna do we're just gonna try to go as close as possible to your lashes by tapping not tapping. by no mm -hmm. tapping because we want to like really push the color in we want to push the color Mm -hmm. And and you're only going to put these uh, dark shadow only where the lashes are. You're not going to try to do the cat eye. You're not going to try to go too much to inside here. We want to avoid it because we want to bring that tension to your eyes mm -hmm. only. Plus, what I like about actually using the shadow instead of the liner or anything, it's much softer look. It looks, it looks more, it just looks more sexy. I don't know. Like, natural, right? <laughs> it just looks more natural, yes. It, it just looks, um, it just looks better in the picture because pictures do not like when it's harsh lines. No mm -hmm. harsh lines. I don't know. Is it good enough? sorry on this side so this is this is what you're gonna decide do you like more intense look or do you more less look so this is where you're gonna decide on how much pigment you want to put in if you comfortable with more pigment go for it mm -hmm. if you want less pigment put less okay for now let's just leave it let's just keep it like that okay uh-huh and then we'll see that's yeah, all... exactly. You can always add on. Like, you know what I mean? This is where people, I think, I think it's like right in fashion. Less is more. The same way. When you put less makeup, it's actually better for the look. It better it looks for in the end result. Because mm -hmm. you can always add more. It's kind of like, right? Maybe like put a little less salt in the <laughs> yeah and then you can always add more. Exactly. exactly. You can always add the pigment. You can always 
you know. Do, do you guys see me good? I want to make sure you guys see me so you can, you know. Looks good? So you can see how I'm applying it? I can see you well. Good. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, what do you... So, can you see, can you see me? Is that okay? It looks, it looks good. But okay. add more black in the like in the lashes just just don't be afraid to add more pigment right to your lashes like right here you know what i mean just really just press it just really, let me really try press. something something mm -hmm. okay the guy's saying that they can see us very good okay good yeah <laughs> guys you can make fun of me as much as you want <laughs> no you're doing great you know, like, thank you, is, thank you, teacher Sophia. Let me see. <laughs> I I still prefer when you do it, uh, but it's always it, it is the time. I mean, we're learning so much. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. See, it looks better when you apply a little bit more pigment right to your lashes. You yes. See it? Yes. Yeah, it, it's kind of like one of those things a lot of times people are like afraid almost to tell. I'm like, do it, do it, do it. Like, you know, because this is where your, this is where you get awesome results, right where your lashes. So don't be afraid to apply more because guess what? We have a cleansing water that will take it off. So don't worry if you're going to get fall down. Okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. I yeah. mean, I like it so far. Yeah. <laughs> black black shadow is a must. Absolutely it's a must. Yeah. I was not using black black. I was using like really dark brown because I don't Yeah, see... you can do either dark brown or black, but for the stage you definitely want to go for black. Mhm. Mm okay. Perfect. So now if you're comfortable to apply your mascara, go for it because I know you're a pro. You're very good at that. Yes and no. <laughs> or you can you can apply mascara right, you know. No, no. It's uh it's no, no, no. It's uh, it's good. I I want to see do uh, you know what I noticed and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-huh. Every time you do a makeup, there's a there's a gap in time when it sets in. Yeah, uh, because the the moment we apply it, it doesn't look exactly the same uh, that it would uh, when it penetrates into the skin uh, skin and sits in like ten fifteen minutes. You look very different, and all of a sudden, all the colors like intensify. That's that, why am I right? The primer. Oh, that is why for the I eyes. For the face the only yeah. primer you always want to avoid is under eyes because under eyes we have no oil glands uh -huh. so that's why there's no need to because if yeah. you can apply the primer under the eyes it's gonna mm -hmm. make your um under eye creep like you know like crepes and we don't want to do that so mm -hmm. everywhere you want to apply in your lids you want to apply in your face everywhere but not on the actual Mm -hmm. We have uh, oil glands. I see. You know what? I used to have um, a sty on my eye, and, but that's not the subject for the conversation today. <laughs> but I wonder. I wonder, like, what other products that uh, after I had that on both eyes, I kind of stopped wearing shadow, you know, eyeshadow and mascara uh, of certain brands because I, I believe it happened because I changed uh, one mm -hmm. of the products I was using and it caused it, although it was a very expensive, very, I mean, it was a good brand. Well, uh, see, a lot of times um, they actually change in the formulation. And as soon as they change in the formulation and they don't really tell the public, this is where the problem starts. Yes. So, so my question was, uh, not for today again, we're not going to mm -hmm. go into that, but maybe we could do another lesson for, for people with super, super, like if they had problems in the past yes. and what is, and now the fear, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, um, sexy yes. and b because it's important, you know, it's, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm so a... we, we actually, it's a good way because I just created the blog post on that. So it's going to be all about clean beauty. It's called, basically, this is what it's, uh, it's called clean beauty. And um, this is where they exactly targeting this problem where people are sensitive to products, to ingredients, to everything. And I'm going to show you what good products for you guys mm -hmm. to use. Okay, so that's my thank you, uh, Sophia. It looks good, it does, doesn't it? It does. It might much better than yesterday, guys. Practice makes perfect. Perfect practice, practice perfect. and perfect practice makes perfect too. So yeah. now we're gonna go into highlight. Okay. Remember the highlights? That was the tricky part, but yeah, let's go for it. So we actually we practiced yesterday with a highlight, but we're gonna take actually a different route. We're not going to put any highlight in the face, but we're going to put the highlight on the eyes. Wow. Yes. That's what so, surprised me the most. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that they can use highlight as an eyeshadow. I'm like, absolutely. This is one of the best eyeshadows for you guys to use. Yeah. So okay. we're actually going to use the middle one. This is, um, it's Milani highlight and they have different kinds of highlights. So you can choose which highlight you want. Honestly, they all good, uh, but we're gonna go for the middle one. I'm gonna get this one is the Kim Laquan, and we're just gonna get like this, and we're gonna actually use finger. We're not gonna use a brush. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna put the highlight right in the center of the eye. So I'm gonna kind of like show you, make sure it's right in the center, like right here, because you know, have you heard of like twinkle in the eye? Mm -hmm. This is exactly what we're going for. We're going for twinkle in the eye because when you're going to look at the person, they're going to know you. They're going to like, oh, okay. She's looking at me. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> we're going to take the ring finger and pretend that you're Queen Elizabeth. And you're going to look at the mirror, not like this, but actually like this. Because okay. we need to get right to the center of the eye, right in the center. See it? Just a little bit, not like all the way. No, just, just a tiny bit because we want, and the thing is, this is very psychological guys, super psychological. So when the person makes decisions, whatever decision of their life, they're gonna look in the center of your eyes, they're gonna look in your eyes, and then they're gonna decide yes or no. So that's why it's very crucial to put it right in the center. I know I'm very dramatic about it, but it's, it's really no, no, it's a, it's very true. Yeah, from neuroscience, yes, what you're saying about uh, looking in the eyes, even in cultures where they actually are not supposed to look in the eyes, but yes. the decisions are made made uh, emotionally. So yes. it's all true. Yeah, they don't talk about it, but that's how they don't talk process. about it exactly. No. It's very right here. <laughs> okay, so. And we're just going to put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys see it like it's literally right in the middle. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So if I look down and look at you, do you see the difference? How it just like really gently transfers it? Mm -hmm. We're doing really good. You're not having too much of a fallout. Do you see how patting and just really like making sure when you're tapping motion, you don't have so much fallout? Yes. I mean, even uh, I, when I tried it yesterday, I'll be honest. I like, what is that? And it didn't look good. But now that I know a little bit more about it, just my second time, uh, what do you think? Is it okay? It looks good. You can okay. always, remember, you can always add more pigment. Uh, but now you have a good foundation of what you have. So you actually see exactly where you need to apply it. It's kind mm -hmm. of a contour, you know what I mean? Okay. So now pretend, like for example, I mean, right now we're doing good. But for example, you have some fallout. And this is actually a very good thing to do even if you feel you don't have a fallout because you will see 
you will see this trick is actually it's a life changing trick. Trust me on this. So you're gonna take a cleansing water. Yep. But I got another another bottle for for some reason it's blue, and you have so this blue, pink. this blue, I have the, the wrong one. A little bit, yes. Um, so the blue is actually waterproof. Yes. So if you have a makeup that is waterproof, that's when you use it. When you're in the pink bottle, mm -hmm. it's actually for any like sensitive skin. So when I use this in a blue bottle, it's if I have like a waterproof makeup. So don't do it now. <laughs> okay. I got two wrong things, guys. Well, uh, let's see what else I got. <laughs> no, I think we're but much we it, but this is but see this is like a real life experience. So sure, see, like yeah. you guys are walking with us in We are know, for real. Park. You wanna make fun? Make do it for real. I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, you did good. You did great. But I mean everything looks good. I don't see any fallout, but just pretend that you do. So I mean I gonna take I have this that I usually use for makeup removal. I don't know where no. this is. No, no, this is this is actually this is the one from Asia. They actually came in Asia. Um, they came up with this. So what you do is like a special water. And what you do with this, for example, if you have something, you just gently remove stuff. What if you apply a little bit too much of the shadow underneath? See what I mean? Yeah, and well, then, that's what mine, mine, uh, I do have a, a little bit of the fall off. So what do I do if I don't have that water? Uh, you can still use the uh, blue one. Just, just make sure you, you don't pass, surpass like here. See what I mean? Yeah. Can I use just the regular water? No. Mm, the regular water is not really made for this. You know what I mean? Because it, it's just not. But and, you can, you can still use the blue one. Just okay. very, just use very little bit, tiny okay. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the Q-tip, very little bit. Mm -hmm. Good. And you start from the corner of your yes. eye? Yes, you're gonna go right, what, like right here, do you see it? Right here. Uh -huh. And you're just gonna pull it, pull it. That feels pull dry. It. And pull it right up. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. And right up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Cool. And this is how you actually, do you see like, even if so you don't see it, but there is some makeup. There's a, there's a lot of makeup right there. <laughs> so this is a trick because a lot of times I have, you know, numerous times that the girls be like, oh my gosh, we can't get this makeup right under the eyes. What is happening? I'm like, have you tried cleaning? They're like, what? I'm like, yes. Well, I do it. I, I, I personally did it all the time, but I did it with this other stuff, not with that water. It yeah, does have water a little bit of... incredible. It's incredible. And it does have oil in it. Yeah. So now you actually need to take just the water just the water. Just okay. regular. Mm -hmm. Just regular water. Uh, because we want to kind of like take away the oil. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have your your fancy water, but I do okay. have my tap water right there. And then you just gently pull it. And do you see how your eyes like are really opened with this type of makeup? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. And the more you actually put the black right where your lashes, the more it's gonna look amazing on the pictures. Mm -hmm. And videos and everything. You see, even in, even with water there's a lot of yeah. excess uh, makeup that I don't need underneath my eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys, make sure you take your makeup under the eyes because you will see such a difference in your um, uh -huh. special occasion makeup, stage yeah. makeup, or whatever you you know you're trying uh -huh. to achieve. Very good. So now we're actually gonna go and do the foundation. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Wow. And um, I actually did the two, let's see, I have like this two beauty sponges. And I want to like kind of show everyone, this is dry, which we never, ever, ever use dry sponge for anything. We only need the wet and see how like it's different, wet and dry. Oh, it's the same size? Yeah. So it's like, I just made sure it's like different colors, but this one is dry, the smaller one, this is wet. You never, ever want to use a dry sponge. It's not going to do anything for you guys. So that's the found foundation, right? Because, so take... this is, because this sponge is good for the primer, remember? And this yeah. one is for foundation. Because okay. this is... This is where people always say, oh, you know, I just don't like the foundation or any of that. I'm like, well, have you tried the sponge with is it wet? And they're like, oh, you're supposed to wet it? I'm like, yes. Because this is way how you're not going to reapply too much of it. Mm -hmm. And, so, and so you always want to use water extra additional. Mm -hmm. Pretend you have it. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then and then you start with Okay, I'm going to wait for you. Yeah. It's just yeah. And we're just going to what I like to do, I really like to like really get into the sponge like that. Uh-huh. And just just kind of like see and just tap it. We never want to swipe anything like none of those motions. You always want to just tap it. Like this. Always tap it. So you start with the cheeks, not with the nose. Yeah, I generally I start with the cheek, not the nose, because I kind of like, because when I do around the nose, I actually like to really get to this corners, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the water is not gonna give you um, apply too much. Just trust me on that. I mean, it's just not like because it has moisture. Uh huh. And there is no rhyme or reason. The most important part when you're doing the tap and when you're applying the foundation, make sure you don't do this. Because I see all the time the girls, they just go all over the place. So really, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, right? I always say, it's like it's kind of like a business, right? We, we need to think local, but think global. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. way. And you just, just gently tap it. Again, more on the lymphatic drainage. Like that. And I, it's it's my preference. Everybody have their own preference. Every makeup artist um, is different. I like my foundation to be a little bit darker mm -hmm. than lighter because it gives you like a healthier type of look, kind of like almost tannish look, you know? Mm -hmm. And I always take a foundation and go right where like, do you see the nostrils? You take yeah. a pink finger and just go around the nostrils because that stuff you always see how it just didn't get yeah, uneven. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I work on the person, I actually take a brush and just really get to the nostril right around here. Mm -hmm. But if I do it on myself, I just take the finger. Finger. Yeah. And this yep. is such a this is such an easy look that just looks good no matter how how old people are or it's such like a universal look. And I do go over the lips with with the foundation. Mm -hmm. Oh, and on the yeah, the... because you don't want to have like this color and this color different. Mm -hmm. you definitely mm -hmm. want to blend it after you applied it mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sonchka, I, I, I just want to say if, um, uh, unfortunately, at six o'clock, I will be. Yeah, we're um, almost done, done, we're almost done. This is how we yeah. do this. <laughs> no? Yeah, we... yes, yes, but I was going to say, if we are not done, then yeah. you can. You no, can... We, we're pretty much almost done. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. So now we're just going to take the concealer, 
this is this is the most important part on the face. This is the most scary part. <laughs> it's it's amazing. <laughs> this is what makes you look 10, 20, 15, so 25 I, years younger. <laughs> I used your advice and I got so yesterday guys, I got the concealer and Sonia said that I need a shade uh, lighter. Two shades lighter. So I went ahead and now I can find it. And I got another one. Let me see if I, oh, it's right there. But what, can it be like super light and mess up the look completely or not? No. Like, no? No. Okay. Because you have a sponge that will take care of it. Okay. So now, what do we do? We're going to is... go from the, from the brow. You're going to go down. Mm -hmm. Right here. So and basically, it's... yeah, and we're going to play what we call in Russian in Jitsi. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Guys, you you got to try it. It's oh. it's really good. Like this this is like the the crazy it's like Halloween every day. Exactly. <laughs> so, it, do you think this one is super light or not? No. No, it's good. Because that's lighter than yesterday. That's the one that good. is lighter. Good. I like lighter. Okay. And okay. Mm hmm. Stride down right here. Yeah. Like this? Mm hmm. Very good. And then. And now we're going to take the sponge. The yeah, oven is the other side. My goodness, I've never, it's, it's like we are doing drawing classes on the <laughs> That's right, it is. And then, and then just, uh, just, uh, sponge. Sponge or this? Sponge. Well, you, once you apply your product, you use the sponge. But you don't, do, do, do you want me to kind of go inside? Just a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit. Good. Not, not too much. You don't want to put too much just a tiny bit no because i personally don't like it of course when i when i go on stage i i it's know different. I, this is obviously you're not going to do it every day this is what no this no and i know it's heavier makeup and i personally for it for every day for pictures no. professional pictures for being on stage i know when when the professional art makeup artist you uh, and others <laughs> that i work with i mean i cannot even look at myself because usually <laughs> it's very heavy we don't usually do it for everyday makeup yeah and that's uh, why you need a sponge yeah okay you got the sponge yeah I, I just mm -hmm. good and now we're just gonna gently tap it just gently tapping see just gently tap all the product because you know when to swipe otherwise the whole product is gone so yeah, so Sonia, do you apply it in between those lines on the nose, on the top of your nose, or not? No. 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 Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Yep. All tapping. Everyone that I ever teach the tapping method, they they just so surprised that it actually works. <laughs> uh, how how close do we get to the eye? Oh, so See, you're tapping. You take the finger. And you literally just tap in this because this sucker, <laughs> how it's said, but you, you know, yeah, you're right there. And the same thing on the other eye, just tapping. And what does it do, the concealer? The concealer is actually takes away your darkness, it takes away your. Uh, aging, it takes away, it brings your eyes up. It's, it basically does miracles to your look. Mm -hmm. And if I have, like, for example, in here, like right mm -hmm. in the corner, I have excessive uh, concealer. I don't need so much. What, yeah. Then you take the sponge. Mm -hmm. If you don't have enough water, you just add a little more water. Mm -hmm. The water is your friend. The water is that miracle broth people don't do enough water in their makeup and then they surprise why their makeup is so cakey because 
makeup is like a chemistry. You want to you want to play around until you find your own consistency. And I always ask people when I work with them, what do they like? How much you know? How much water do they use? Do they use moisturizer? Because if they don't do skincare, that means I have a harder job for me to do. That's why I always say, try to smother yourself with the moisturizer before you see me, and really try to do the moisturizer. Also, can you can you just address that? Uh, uh, see, like on my skin, guys, I don't know if you can see that. There's a there's a darker spot, and uh, Sophia says that concealer is yep. used for ma m kind of masking that. Um, yes. And, I, and yeah. I always like to actually use finger to do this, like use fingers on like areas that you want to be like more dressed. So that way it's like your, your palm is so soft. So it's actually going to do a really good job of covering things. Do you see how it just like really open the eyes and open the whole look, that triangle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like it. You know what I love? Yesterday, uh, it was... It was darker. I can still see a little bit of this, but I can apply maybe just on that, on that little spot. I can apply the darker um, concealer, just mm -hmm. just with the finger, right? Yep. No, no. And, then, and then whatever you have left on the sponge from the concealer, you're actually mm -hmm. gonna go on the chin, right here, mm -hmm. and on the center of the forehead. Oh. Chin and the forehead. I see. Like on the chin and the forehead. Mm -hmm. One second. Mm -hmm. Yep, chin and mm -hmm. chin and the forehead. Okay. So we basically did, right now we did the 3D effect. Wow. We did. Do you see the difference? I do. I do. Yesterday I didn't, I, I mean, I did see it, but it looked very different. And yeah, that's I, why I guess... you need two shades of lighter concealer to really get that. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. And of course, when I add the, the lipstick, uh, it would, it, it, it oh, would yeah. look better. And so now we're the... going to use the powder. It's our mm -hmm. magic. We need to use the powder. Mm -hmm. and, the, the... Like, and see that's why I love the powder because when you find the powder that matches your skin uh -huh. that's the powder you're going to put under the eye so that way this is how you conceal that lighter concealer see what I mean mm -hmm. so it's neutralizing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's why I'm like don't worry the concealer is lighter because your powder is going to take care of it I see. So we should go over? Yeah. Like, oh, so now oh. we're going to put powder everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. Not... Under, under eyes. Under eyes. Everywhere. Because remember, we do not want to be shiny. This is the number one thing. Camera does not like shine. And no. we want to avoid it at all costs. So we'll see. We'll see today if it's a. Uh, you're gonna be at the concert, right? At oh concert. yes. Oh yes. I'm gonna so, be at the concert. I I, I hope, uh, Sonichko, when you when you are there, uh, just let me know if it if it was glowing my face. Or I not. will. I will definitely <laughs> point my mistakes out. And it also depends on how the light is reflected. Uh, so in, uh, we, I've never done virtual concerts before. So uh, it's going to be different from being live. Even when you're live, live on stage, you are in the projectors. And usually I'm, I start sweating. And I know that my face is glowing if the professional was not working on my makeup. I know that. So now with these tricks, hopefully I can, uh, if we are in, it, but hopefully we're not in a situation like that. Yes, I really <laughs> anyway, so quarantine. Goodness, it's not such a hot day like it was the other day. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. Yeah. Perfect. So now we're going to take a big brush. Oh, uh, what, what is bigger than that? Or can I use the same? Can I use the same? 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's very good. Very, very good. I had just minimum makeup always, so now now I know that I need to get a lot more. <laughs> so okay. I'm gonna get the combination. The like, like, do you see how it's like a nice and mauvey? And I'm gonna get this. Yep, and you're gonna get the blush that we chose. Uh, yeah, so uh, that you, the you told me. In the middle. Yeah. So I was I was following Sophia's recommendations and got everything that she told me to. So we are using the products that recommended by the professional. <laughs> For, okay. You always want to be like in the mauve or peach colors because those are universals that will look good on anyone. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to take the blush. And we just tap it. And then you always want to put it on your hand so that way you don't have too much. And we're gonna smile. And uh -huh. do you see like everybody has like that apple of the cheeks? Yes. And we just want to just tap it and go up. Tap it and then go up. So make sure you don't push too much here to the nose, otherwise you're gonna look like Santa Claus. We wanna avoid this. So we want to like literally just push and then go up. Okay. Super easy. Push uh -huh. and then go up. It, it looks easy for you. No, but that's, that's why I like to have a big brush because that way it takes all the guesswork out of you. Just make sure you don't put too much to the nose. That's the only, you know, thing you have to kind of like remember. Smile and then go up. See, it's like, it's seriously, it's super, super easy. So, I always say, don't try to do too much contour. Don't try to do like, it's blush will do all your work. Okay. So do you see like smile? Mm -hmm. And then yep. go up. Yes. And when you put the blush more up, it actually gives you illusion of more younger self. If you put the blush more down, it's actually gonna like pull your face down. So you always want, like do you see how it just like really makes your face more like lighter mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. like you just you just more up more up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. try like really just just get that side i guess i, I did i do it did i do it that's good what do you think guys do you like it i don't know I if you can see i can so, see the powder that i use is jane arndale it's fantastic and the Fit Me, I use it for under eyes. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're good, right? Yeah, and now you just put the lips and mm -hmm. that's it. And that's it. That's, that's it. it. This, is, this is like, uh, make sure you put the lip balm, right? You always want to do the lip balm. I always do, yes. That is one thing. Uh, can, do you personally, do you do you like lip liners? I do. That's why I'm... Um... Uh, you know what? With lips, it's however you guys feel comfortable. Make sure it's... If you do like a big stage or like something, make sure your lips are matte. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to take pictures. They're going to take you know, screenshots, they're going to take, so make sure your lips are matte. Everything, as you can see, the only, like, uh, twinkle, we did it in the eyes. That's it. So try to stay away from all the shines from the face. Mm -hmm. I always, like, when I work with photographers, they always tell me, Sophia, no shine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yep. Um... And yeah, just just basically like a lip balm. That's all you need. Like the, I have like Milka always run. You know she always finds my lip my lip balms and. But I'm actually gonna show you some really cool one. This is this is it's called Paul and Joel, and this is a lip balm with a color. So mm. it has a little shine. So this is how you take away the shine. We're almost done this. This is how awesome it yeah. is. 